Engineer 775 here. I'm going to show you some of the steps of putting in a, a slow pump in a, uh, a difficult terrain situation. I'm on the side of a mountain and we're collecting spring water and there is a shared uh, source of water here with two neighbors and we're filling a, a tank. One tank has an electric pump in it and then the other tank is going to capture the overflow from the first and from that we'll use a Dankoff slow pump to pump up about 270 feet over a 800 foot linear distance but 270 foot elevation and so I'll show you what I'm doing again there I don't know if you can see it up in the woods there's a spring box it's collecting the spring water at its head and then coming down to a tank here which has an overflow that will fill the big tank it's a 2500 gallon cistern our solar and to run this pump is around 500 feet away using a real heavy number six wire and so we can minimize the voltage drop that's coming down a long ways and I'm going to be using a, on this a Dankoff 1304 this is a 48 volt motor and pump setup I'm going to be pumping the spring water up to two tanks on top of the mountain we're going to pre-filter it with a 10 micron filter and then we're going to use a linear current booster that will um, basically optimize the light um, in terms of uh, pumping a lot more water per day about 40 percent more than if I just ran solar direct to this motor so it's a great little thing it's called a linear current booster I've used them on several different things and so we'll be wiring into the LCB that's a linear current booster and then I've added a just a simple toggle switch down here so if you needed to do any maintenance you can shut the thing off without having to open this up and flip a breaker and I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna orient everything and uh, plumb this and <laughs> and insulate it. insulation will be key here and they've uh, gonna be insulating this building and this thermal mass from this tank should keep it warm enough um, to prevent the lines inside the building from freezing. Okay, um, that's step one. Just showed up on the site and uh, unloading everything to begin to uh, plumb this uh, Dankoff slow pump. And uh, just great pumps. Um, one of the, things, the best thing about it is the minimal amount of solar required to do what I'm about to do. So the bottom end of this slow pump system is completed. I gotta go work on the top end before I run out of sun. So we can do some testing. We've got, uh, let me, I guess, come from this direction and show you. Pulling water out of the bottom of this tank in through a 10 micron filter into the Dankoff slow pump and then back out, check valved up to the tanks on the mountain. We've got a uh, 10B uh, Dankoff LCB linear current booster um, and uh, it's got a fuse to match the uh, motor rating just a little bit above a little safety factor there dry run switch if this thing uh, runs dry it'll shut itself off and so this is uh, just a there's a million ways to do these and this is just one that is working out at this location so and I did I put a toggle switch on turn it on and off so let's go up to the top and get putting the solar panels up